After the loss of opposition candidate Margaret Alva in vice presidential polls, has started a blame game while congratulating Jagdeep Thankar on being elected the 14th vice president of India. Alva said that some opposition parties derailed the idea of united opposition. Congress's Jairam Ramesh openly targeted TMC over the issue. This comes after TMC abstained from voting in vice presidential elections. TMC had claimed that the decision on opposition's vice presidential candidate was taken without their consultation. Despite clear instructions, two TMC MPs, Shishir Adhikari and Dibyendu Adhikari, who joined BJP last year but did not resign as MPs, voted for NDA candidate Jagdeep Thankar. 528 votes. So, our NDA is not 528 votes. I want to give up our NDA to the NDA. करना चाहता हूं जिन्होंने हमें समर्थन दिया दीप धनकर बंगाल के गवर्नर थे और अभी हमने देखा कि टीएमसी की तरफ से वोटिंग नहीं दी कहीं ना कहीं टीएमसी वोट ना करके भी बीजेपी की तरफ बीजेपी को हेल्प किया हम कह सकते हैं देखिए वो उनका अंदरूनी मामला है वो कई कारण होंगे वो तो आप टीएमसी वालों से पूछो उन, उनसे ही पूछना चाहिए लेकिन हम जो हमारे समर्थित दल है उनके मत लेने में हम सफल हुए और उन्होंने हमारा सहयोग किया इसलिए हम उनका आभार प्रकट कर रहे आशुतोष मिश्रा इज ज्वाइनिंग अस लाइव फ्रॉम दिल्ली आशुतोष यू नो देयर इज जस्ट नो ऑपोजिशन यूनिटी एंड इवन दिस पर्टिकुलर इंसिडेंट जस्ट प्रूव्स दैट Absolutely, and even uh, before the presidential elections, we have seen the similar picture, and particularly when it was talked about that uh, this uh, consolidation of the opposition camp, if at all they comes together, will be a strength for the opposition who will be challenging the centre government in 2024 elections. But clearly, the way we are seeing splitting and several, you know, the uh, members from the opposition camp also coming out, stepping up their support uh, for the ruling party candidates. So that's clearly, and this was perhaps bound to happen. Remember, uh, there was first Rajya Sabha polls. Within the alliance, the opposition parties, they were not support for each other. And then this was bound to happen in the presidential elections. And subsequently, since already the NDA had their upper edge when it comes to the vice presidential election or the presidential poll. But within the alliance, the, from the UPA and the other parties, because they could not keep their house flock together, and that perhaps resulted to this massive, you know, look at the margin of uh, the NDA candidate and look at the margin of uh, the opposition candidate. So clearly the difference that says when it comes to the number, there there was no unity. Perhaps all the effort that was taken during the presidential election, we have seen several rounds of meeting with the Sharad Pawar and the all opposition parties. But clearly, all this meeting when had to come, you know, when uh, it was a task to bring them all together, it was only the Margaret Alwa, the only uh, the vice president candidate from the opposition camp who was running from pillar to post. But the similar effort this time was clearly missing from the top leadership within the opposition camp, and that perhaps, you know. You know, led to this uh, massive uh, crisis within the opposition.